Greetings. We, are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. Is there actually, life after death? Yes, but to get a guarantee of eternal life, you have to give up your current life first. God said in Ephesians 1:14, if you will give him your heart and life, and confess his son as your savior, he will fill you with his Holy Spirit, as a down payment, or guarantee, of your citizenship in heaven. But how does that all work? There is no inquiry that can rival the importance of the question, how do I get to heaven? Mankind has been asking this question from the beginning of time. Fortunately for us, God is not silent on this issue. He has explained to us, in very simple and lucid language, his plan of salvation. God says in his word, the Bible, that all of us have sinned, and fallen short of the standard to make it into heaven, which is perfection. He made that statement in a book in the Bible called, Romans, verse 23, in the third chapter. The problem is, it also says, in Romans 6 23, that, the wages of sin is death. So just because we sinned, we don't get to go to heaven? That seems unfair, even harsh. But wait, there's more to that verse. The second half of that verse says, but the free gift of God, is eternal life, through faith in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Romans 10 9 says, if you will believe in your heart, and confess with your mouth, that Jesus is Lord, and that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Jesus said in John 14 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man goes to the Father, except through me. Unfortunately, there are false teachers that tend to take bits and pieces of the Bible out of context, and try to make it seem, that you have to earn your salvation. But God has plainly told us, that heaven is a gift, given to us, out of his love for you and me. Ephesians 2.8 says, we are saved by God's grace, through faith. Not by our good deeds, it is a gift from God. The price paid, was the life of his own son, Jesus Christ. So when we offer up our good deeds as payment, it is seen by God, as the ultimate insult. If we could be saved by our good works, then Jesus died in vain. There would be no need for him to die in our stead. But God teaches us in his word, that no one can earn their salvation, because it is a gift, received by faith. All you need to do, is ask God to forgive you for being disobedient, and confess that you believe that Jesus is your Lord and Savior, and you will receive that gift of eternal life. Then your new home, your real home, will eternally be with your Father God in heaven. So I implore you, from the bottom of my heart, give him your life today. It will be the best decision you will ever make. Peace be unto you, and your house. Amen.